Okay, a few years ago, my wife and I took a group to Madagascar for three weeks. We traveled throughout the country and stopped at various places of natural interest. Madagascar is one of the poorest countries in the world, but one of the most rich as far as nature goes. I want to show you some of the animals that are there. The, the island is 300 miles off the coast in the Indian Ocean, but 160 million years ago it was attached to... Oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, it, was, it sailed down from Somalia and went south. This is a, a black and white roughed lemur. It's one of 51 that are found in the, in the country. Lemurs are only found in the country, nowhere else in the world. They come from little bitty guys like this, right? These are lemurs also. It, when it started migrating from Somalia going south, it, there, were, there was one species, and then over that time there were 68. And here's one of them. This is the Safaka, right? And the reason you have 68 from one is because as it went south, it went through the tropics. And therefore, there were more habitats and more places for the lemurs to live. Right? This is the Indri, which is the largest uh, lemur in the world. It's about three and a half feet tall. And it has no tail, which is probably why it's not extinct because the Malagasy will not eat it, because they think that it uh, is their ancestor. These are ring-tailed lemurs, and they are practicing yoga. <laughs> right? And we used to have them join us for breakfast each morning, or at least we fought for breakfast, because we ate outdoors, and they thought that was their buffet. This is the only predator in the country. It's called the fusa, and it chases lemurs through the trees and catches them because they slowed down because they had eaten our breakfast. <laughs> okay. This is another group. These are chameleons. The, when it started coming south, there were only two species of chameleons in the country, and as it went south, there gradually increased to 66. This is the small one, and it gave rise to just about half of the chameleons. This is a big one. This is life-size. It... No, not quite. <laughs> okay. Two-thirds of all the chameleons in the world are found in Madagascar. If you look at the colors, and look at the next one, that's the same species, okay? So they can change colors dramatically. Okay? Again, as you go south, you're going through the tropics. It's richer, more energy, more places for chameleons to live. So more chameleons. Okay? This is a different kind of lizard. This is the flat-tailed gecko. You'll notice the fringe here. Oh, there's over that one. Uh, the fringe makes it to where it doesn't uh, cast a shadow, and therefore it doesn't make itself aware to predators. This is another gecko. This is the famous day gecko. It's called a day gecko because it's only active during the day. Half of the geckos in Madagascar are in this group. I love geckos. There are a hundred species of birds that are found in Madagascar that are only found in Madagascar. This is a Madagascar pied crow. Their numbers haven't dropped, okay, because they live like our crows on the waste that people leave behind. This is a robin. This is a Madagascar pied robin. And it's not like our robin. It follows you as you walk along and will wait for you to kick up a, a bug and then it flies over and eats it. If you sit in the forest and rub your foot on the ground, they'll show up 
and pose for a photo, and then hopefully eat a bug. This animal just can't taste good, right? It has no fear of people. This one rocked right by me on the trail, and I took its picture. And if it were good to eat, people would hunt it, and it wouldn't come by. This is the best group, other than geckos, of course. This is a tomato frog. It's one of 330 species of frog in Madagascar. The U.S. only has 86, right? 330. Madagascar is the best place in the world for frogs, for chameleons, for lemurs, for geckos. This is a, a, a house. People live in that house. Madagascar is, as I said, very, very poor. We passed this house as we were going along. Right? This is looking out the plain, and you'll notice that most of the vegetation is missing. This is the way about an eighth of the, the island looks. Right? This was not done by Malagasy. This is done by people that were exploiters coming from outside. Thank goodness Madagascar has finally gotten the, the attention of Hollywood and of the world's conservation groups, right? And they are trying to educate the poor to, and give them jobs working around the reserves so that the plants and the animals that are there will be protected. Thank you.